Worldwide Telescope. To launch Worldwide Telescope, we click on the Worldwide Telescope button. It is going to launch its own window. This is the only application that we're currently using in the Open Playground that does not spout the user interface into uh, our UI. So you have to actually operate from this window, which means you'll either have to alt tab or bring that window up. Once you are interacting inside of Worldwide Telescope, you'll see it reacts inside the dome. While I think the visualizations are much stronger inside of open space, I encourage you to do that. The user interface is probably a little bit more user friendly inside of Worldwide Telescope. So for novice users, it's a great application. To navigate to objects, you just click on the object and it will slowly fly us there at a reasonable rate. To jump to an object, double click and we'll go instantly to that object. Spin that object around to look and use the scene tree on the left to turn on different data sets. One of my favorite parts of Worldwide Telescope is guided tours. And this is probably one of the reasons we continue to install this on systems. Worldwide Telescope is accessible to students, teachers, and family members by going to worldwidetelescope.org and using the web portal. This means if you are working with outreach programs or classes, you could absolutely have your students build their own presentation using Worldwide Telescope online, export that file, bring it in to you, and you can load it into the dome and show the guided tour, such as this Ring Nebula tour that was created Hi, by a six-year-old, which means if he can do it, any of your students can do it. To exit a guided tour, just hit the escape button and then come back to explore and you will be able to continue navigating around Worldwide Telescope. When you are finished using Worldwide Telescope, click the X and it will close the application and automatically bounce you back to the astrophysics applications menu.